let's see the solution of the 9.4 exercise which is based on homogeneous equations uh, 9 sorry 9.5 uh, exercise and let us see that uh, how you are going to deal these problems the solution of these uh, problems uh, let us consider one by one uh, the first problem is uh, x square plus xy dy is equal to x square plus y square dx we can either solve it for dy by dx or dx by dy so we can write this as dy by dx as x square plus y square upon x square plus xy we can verify for th this is a homogeneous equation how we can verify on the right hand side replace x by dx y by dy let us find what is the degree of this homogeneous function that is dy by dx is equal to now if we replace it i will be obtaining t square as a factor outside this bracket and t square outside this bracket now this will get cancelled so one can write this expression as dy by dx as x square plus y square upon x square plus xy and uh, into t raised to power 0 so it is a homogeneous uh, function of degree 0 so now how we are going to simplify it now we have this differential equation that is dy by dx is equal to x square plus y square upon x square plus xy let it be 1 now substitute y is equal to vx or y by x is equal to this now differentiating it with respect to x with respect to x so we will be having dy by dx is equal to v into 1 plus x into dv by dx now using 2 in 1 using 2 in 1 so we will be having v plus x dv by dx x square v square x square upon x square and uh, again x square into v now this x square will get cancelled from uh, numerator and denominator side so i will be having x dv by dx v plus that is 1 plus v square upon 1 plus v now separating the variable now it will become variable separable x dv by dx 1 plus v square upon 1 plus v minus v now let us simplify it again 1 plus v square minus v minus v square upon 1 plus v v square v square will get cancelled now if I separate this variable it will be 1 plus v upon 1 minus v dv is equal to dx by x. Now integrating both sides. Now we know that the degree of, uh, of the numerator and denominator are equal we divide it. 1 plus v is divided by 1 minus v. It will go as a quotient as minus 1. So minus 1 plus v. So the remainder is 2. So one can write this as uh, first we are going to write quotient part plus remainder and uh, integration of this with respect to v and uh, on the left hand side this. Now integration of this is minus dv plus 2 outside dv upon 1 minus v dx by x its integration is minus v plus 2 into log mod of 1 minus v now we can write this as again minus 2 why because coefficient of v is minus 1 log x plus log c we can uh, further simplify it as minus v plus log 1 minus v raised to power minus 2 log mod xc now if I brought this term to the left hand side it will be log mod xc upon 1 minus v raised to power minus 2. 
Further, I can write this as my v as y by x log xc into 1 minus v whole square whole mode, which is same as e raised to power minus y upon x x into c into 1 minus y upon x ka whole square. Further, I can write this as e raised to power minus y by x x into c. If I take the else in part, then it will be 1 by x square times of x uh, sorry x minus y whole square x minus y whole square so this power will get cancelled so the final answer is we can take x on the this side and c into x minus y whole square so that's the answer now let us see what is question number 2 That is what, uh, question number two is uh, y does equal to x plus y upon x. Now see how you are going to solve this. Y does is equal to x plus y upon x. It is a very easy question. We can write this as dy by dx and 1 plus y upon x. Clearly it is a function of y upon x. And its degree is 0. One can also write this as x raised to 0 into this. So I am taking y upon x as v. This will imply y is equal to vx. So dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx. Now this is 1 and this is 2. Using 2 in 1. Using 2 in 1. Now see what we are going to obtain. V plus x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus v. This will get cancelled. So it is nothing but uh, dv is equal to uh, dx by x. Now integrating both sides. So we will be having v is equal to log mode x plus c. What is the value? In fact, uh, we can take this as or y by x is equal to log mod x plus log c, which is further x into c mode, and it will imply that e raised to power y by x is equal to x into c. That is the final answer. Now, see what is question number three. Now again question number 3, you can see that x minus y dy and uh, let us consider that, that how we are going to simplify it. It is x minus y dy minus x plus y dx. I think that's a question again, let us verify it. Yes same question. Now see how we are going to simplify it equal to 0. It's up to us again uh, how we want to simplify it. I can write x minus y dy. This is equal to x plus y dx and we can write this as dy by dx is equal to x plus y upon x minus y. Dividing numerator and denominator by x you will find that it is of the form clearly it is a homogeneous function of degree 0 so I am going to write y by x is equal to v this will imply y is equal to vx now differentiating again differentiating with respect to x so dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv by dx. Let it be 1 and let it be 2. Now using 2 in 1. Using 2 in 1. That is v plus x dv by dx is equal to 
1 plus b upon 1 minus b. I hope uh, yes. Now let us understand that how we are going to simplify it. That is equal to x dv by dx 1 plus v upon 1 minus v minus v. Let us simplify it. 1 plus v minus v square plus v upon 1 minus v upon that is x dv by dx. Can we write this as x dv by dx is equal to 1 plus 2v minus v square upon 1 minus v. Again, we can write this as 1 minus v by separating the variable Now the next question arises: how we are going to uh, simplify this expression. It is linear by quadratic. So we can write this as 1 minus v is equal to a into derivative of 2v minus v square plus v. 1 minus v that is a times of 2 minus 2v plus b. Now comparing the coefficient. coefficient of v minus 1 equal to minus 2a this will imply a is equal to 1 by 2 now constant term coefficient 1 2a plus b so from this uh, what we are finding that is b is 0 so it means uh, the numerator is absolute derivative of it so we can say that uh, uh, in fact rather than doing this step no need to do these steps so we can directly do here that uh, 1 plus 2v minus v square equal to t that is 2 minus 2v dv is equal to dt now that this problem will become 1 minus v dv is equal to half dt now the problem is half dt by t that is equal to dx by x which is same as half log mod t is equal to log mod x plus log c. So one can also write this as log mod t raised to power half log mod x c that is the root of t is equal to xc that is under root of 1 minus v is equal to x of c that is under root of 1 minus y by x x into c now squaring on squaring you will be getting this c square so one can also write this as x minus y is equal to x cube of some k where k is c square so either the way you can simplify it so you have to simply uh, follow the instructions and uh, the steps that we have done in this question now question number four now see what is the question number four it is x square minus y square dx plus 2xy dy Question number 4 is x square minus y square dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. Let us understand that. Yes. Okay. We can write this as 2xy dy is equal to y square minus x square dx and dy by dx is equal to also one can write if I take x square as common
now see also i can write this as x square minus 1 upon 2 y upon x so clearly it is a homogeneous function of degree 0 it is a homogeneous function of degree 0 let it be 1 so y by x is equal to v imply that y is equal to vx so this will imply dy by dx is equal to v into 1 plus x dv by dx now using 2 in 1 using 2 in 1 so i will be having v plus x dv by dx v square minus 1 upon 2 v. now separating the variables which is same as x dv by dx minus 2v square upon 2v now see uh, it will be x dv by dx minus 1 plus v square upon 2v again separating the variables that is 2v dv upon 1 plus v square minus times and uh, dx by x now can we integrate it yes on the left hand side substitute 1 plus v square is equal to t 2v dv is equal to dt that is nothing but minus dt by t and dx by x now one can write this as minus log mod t log mod x plus log c so this will imply this can be go like this so one can write this as log mod x t into c is equal to 0 x into t into c is e raised to power 0 now uh, it is 1 plus v square into c is equal to 1 now one can also write 1 plus y square by x square into c is equal to 1 one can also write this way now c this will get cancelled also we can write x square plus y square into c is equal to x so that is the solution of problem number 4 now we have another question that is uh, question number 5 see what is the question question number 5 is it is uh, x square minus 2y square that is x square dy by dx so let us keep uh, up to this step now we will record the next part in the next video mm.